Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at sentence types. So if you remember to back in school we were learning about statements, commands, questions and what was that fourth one? Oh yes, that's right, exclamations. So we're going to be using those four different sentence types. And to start, I'm just going to read a very small part of a story for you. Somebody Swallowed Stanley, written by Sarah Roberts and illustrated by Hannah Peck. Stanley swept into the sea with a splash and a splish. Perhaps he's one of us, thought the other jellyfish. Oh my goodness, look at all those jellyfish surrounding him, staring at him. I wonder how he feels. I wonder what those jellyfish are thinking. But his stripes were too straight and his tentacles too few. He just floated in the sea, not sure what to do. You see, Stanley was no ordinary jellyfish. Oh no, look at all those other jellyfish, they're all swimming away from him. I wonder what they're thinking now. Right, I hope you were listening carefully. That was just a tiny part of the story that we're going to be learning about over the next few weeks. Now I want you to think really carefully, what must those jellyfish have been thinking? The jellyfish are all in the sea, they all look alike and they're looking around and Stanley splashes and floats down. And they look at him. And they can see he doesn't look like them. So what must they be thinking? Oh, what a strange creature. What is that? I bet they're telling their friends, look up there. I want you to think of some questions that these jellyfish might ask each other. And I also want you to think about some statements. Now, the statements, remember, are things that they can see. They're telling their friends what's going on. So a question is when they ask someone and they want to reply. So they want to know what's inside someone else's head. They want an answer from someone else. And the statement is when they are just telling someone about what is happening. So what questions and what statements would these jellyfish be saying to one another as Stanley gets dropped into the ocean? So here are some questions I thought of. I bet you came up with some of them as well. Who is he? Where did he come from? What is he? Why does he look so different? Those are all the questions the first jellyfish is asking. And he's asking his friend Jellyfish because he wants to know what his friend Jellyfish thinks about him. And you can see that each of the question ends with a question mark. Now the next Jellyfish is saying some statements. He's just telling us exactly what he can see. He has red and white stripes. His eyes are big and round. He is a strange looking Jellyfish. He has no tentacles. So those are all the statements there that that jellyfish has thought of. Right, some really good questions and statements there. And if you're in year one, I'd like you to stop this video now and go away and have a go at writing your own questions with a question mark at the end and your own statements. Year two, hang with me because we're now going to look at the other two sentence types. So if we've looked at questions and we've looked at statements, what are the two sentence types are there? Commands and exclamations, of course, thank you. So think back to those fish, those jellyfish. Stanley's just been dropped into the water. I wonder what commands those jellyfish might speak to one another. What might they tell each other to do? So remember, a command tells someone what to do. It doesn't ask them, it tells them. So have a think. What would those jellyfish tell each other to do? Look up there. They might tell each other to look. Also have a think about... Um, the exclamations. Now remember, exclamations tend to start with what or how, but they are not questions. 
There's something someone might say when something is so terribly bad or so terribly shocking or so amazingly good. What a beautiful day. What a terrible day. How lovely. How awful. So think of some of those exclamations and those commands. And here are some commands that I thought of. So the first jellyfish is saying, go away. He's telling them to go away, not asking. Look up there. Telling them to look up there. Well, Stanley's coming down. And then he says, run and hide. So he's telling all the jellyfish to run away and hide from Stanley. Those are the commands. He is telling them what to do. And the second jellyfish has got some exclamations. What a strange looking jellyfish. How rude of him. What funny eyes he has. You have a think. See if you can think of any more commands or exclamations. Okay, great. Now, I bet you've got loads of great questions, statements, exclamations and commands. And we're going to use all of those in a bit of narrative. Now, this is our narrative that we're going to write here. It's going to be about Stanley falling into the sea, floating down to the bottom and all the jellyfish spying him for the first time. When you do your learning, don't forget we have our date, misaligned title, misaligned, and we'll start our learning here. And I've already begun my piece of writing. Stanley floated down towards the seabed. That's a statement, isn't it? I'm telling you what's happening or happened. Stanley floated down towards the seabed. He could see thousands of jellyfish staring up at him with their beady eyes. I like that. Not just eyes, but those little beady eyes that watch you everywhere you go. Oh, what's this I've got here? It says, look up there. Command. Good. Whoever shouted command out, that's exactly what it is. I put a command into my writing and I've got a bit of dialogue here. That is the words that the characters have spoken. And I've used some inverted commas to show exactly the words that have been spoken. Look up there, shouted one jellyfish. What's this? It says, what is that? Yes, it's a question. What is that? With a question mark. Again, I've got the inverted commas because those are the words that have been spoken. What is that? Questioned another. As Stanley, as Stanley went down towards the seabed, went down. He moved towards, as Stanley moved, as Stanley floated, I've used floated already, so I've used it here, approached, as Stanley approach, approached, approach, ed suffix good, as Stanley approached the seabed. The seabed is the bottom of the sea where the sand is. In shallow water you can walk on it but when it's very deep it's very very far down. As Stanley approached the seabed the jellyfish, what did the jellyfish do? Do you remember seeing the picture of Stanley in the middle and all the other fish or the jellyfish around him? They surrounded him. As Stanley approached the seabed, the jellyfish surrounded him. Sur surrounded. The word surrounded makes it sound like they, like they might be quite mean. Because in a fight or in a battle, people surround each other. You can also surround people full of love and smiles. So this word surrounded in this way makes it quite a hostile situation. A situation where it might be quite, not very nice maybe for Stanley. Let me read again. As Stanley approached the seabed, the jellyfish surrounded him. Four, 
will stop. I'm going to use an exclamation. What would one jellyfish say to another? That would be an exclamation. Stanley's a creature. They don't know what sort of creature. But they know he's a creature and he's different. What a strange creature. What? This is what someone's saying. So I've used these speech marks there. What a st 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 and it's j the g and the e. What a strange creature. Cr cr e what a strange creature. It's an exclamation, so I'm going to put an exclamation mark on the end. What a strange creature. That is all they say, so I'm going to end my inverted commas there to show the speech inside. What a strange creature. Now this jellyfish was actually quite kind, I think. So I don't want this jellyfish to shout out loud. She's just thinking this is rather strange. What a strange creature. So instead of shouting, I think she might whisper. What a strange creature. Whispered. Whispered a jellyfish. Hmm, what next? What a strange creature, whispered a jellyfish. So what's Stanley going to do? Bet he's going to look around him, isn't he? He wants to look around. He doesn't really know where he is. Slowly. Nice adverb here to start my sentence. Slowly, Stanley with a capital to S because it's his name. Slowly, Stanley looked, look, looked, ed suffix. Slowly, Stanley looked around, around, looked around with his. again with his big eyes opened wide Woo, I right, at the moment that says what id what id how do I make this make an I sound split digraph correct Stanley look slowly Stanley looked around with his big eyes open wide full stop as the narrator now I'm going to ask a question capital letter for the beginning of my sentence should remember the spelling of should this spelling here the o u l d o you lucky duck i should have had an ice cream i could have had an ice cream i would have had an ice cream but the lucky duck had an ice cream o you lucky duck right should Anyway, back to it. Should he run away? Should he run away? That's another question in there. Brilliant. I'm not going to write anymore. I've written quite a bit already. Let's have a little read over what I've written already. Stanley floated down towards the seabed. Full stop. He could see thousands of jellyfish staring up at him with their beady eyes. Oh, stop. Look up there! What's that? Command, good. Look up there! shouted one jellyfish. What is that? Question, yes. What is that? questioned another. 
As Stanley approached the seabed, the jellyfish surrounded him. What a strange creature! Exclamation. What a strange creature! Whispered a jellyfish. Slowly, Stanley looked around with his big eyes opened wide. Should he run away? Okay, it's your turn then. Get writing, include those statements, commands, questions and exclamations in your writing. Make it a lengthy piece of writing. If you saw, my writing went over two pages. So make yours a lengthy bit of writing and don't forget to email it in. Remember your handwriting, keep it neat.